Hello and welcome everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how you can find each of the Gigantamax forms and how you can catch them 100%. So I already caught a few of those Gigantamax forms. I believe there are about 19 right now at the moment of recording. As far as I know, uh, Snorlax will also join the Gigantamax ranks and will be available starting December 4th. For one whole month, I believe. As some of you may know, when you're connected to the internet and go into the max raid battles through the stamps, so we're searching for max raid battles, when you want to capture... Yeah, well now we don't have a Gigantamax Pokémon there, but you know what I mean. If you want to catch it, there is like a 20% chance that you will catch it when you're not the host of that raid. So if you're joining another person's raid battle, the chance is like only 20%. But when you host a max raid battle, the chance is, I think, 100%. So enough talking, let's get cooking. Now, with Grimmsnarl as an example, I'll show you how you can trigger the max raid battle with the Gigantamax form you desire. And after that, I'll show you all the locations you need to know. I hope this method hasn't been fixed yet, at the moment you watch this video, but for now it works. So, what you want to do? You want to stand right next to the den of the desired Pokémon, and then you need to save your game. Now, you want to go into Settings, Set your attack speed to slow, very important. And then you want to throw in a wishing piece, which you can find by those vendors, for example right next to the entrance of Motostoke and Hammerlock. Or if you're one of those guys that thinks, ah, oh, today is my lucky day, then you can let those Digger Brothers dig it out for you. I believe it's a chance of... Pfft, one, two, two percent. And now you want to throw in a wishing piece. Yes. And before we push yes, I would recommend to have your left index finger on the home button on your controller and the right one above X and A. Because here you have to be kind of fast. You have like a two to three seconds window. But I'll show you. And what we want to do is we want to look for the beam that's coming out of the den. And if its color is pink or this bright whitish purple. So we press yes and as soon as the beam appears we'll push the home button. This will pause the game in the background. But just to make sure you should also close it right after if it's the wrong beam. So we push yes and the home button and we close it. You close it with a combination of X and then A. And the game will load the last save game you have. And then you just repeat the process until you find the right beam color. This will normally take you around uh, 1 to 20 different tries. A little longer than a few minutes later. Ah! And there we go! And of course, uh, like at the 20th try, in Germany we call it the Vorführ effect, when you want to show someone something and it <laughs> works in the least optimal way. So, but now I'll show you how much time you've got. So, go out, go in, go out, go in. So, enough time to go out of the game and close it. So I wouldn't worry too much about your save file. If you're unsure, if you clicked too late, just go back into the game and you should be fine. I, I'm not even sure if it can corrupt the save file, but I'm a very careful person. First times I tried it, I was like, Whoa, my save file! <laughs> but it totally works. And now we can save again. Oh, and you want to change your text speed back to fast. Fast is always the best setting in this game. Now that we are at this point, we want to take a look inside the den. Ah, no, that's not Grimmsnarl. So what you want to do now, and I would recommend to do this while not being connected inside the game to the internet. Because I noticed when I was looking for max raid battles, like every second raid battle was cancelled. And uh, this is not a nice way of playing the game. 
So I would appeal to your conscience, don't be connected to the internet so others can enjoy the game too. But, to be honest, it's a bit faster when you are connected to the internet. Don't know why. But now, what you want to do? You want to click on invite others. And as soon as the countdown starts in the top right corner of the screen, you can push the home button. Go to system settings. All the way down to system. Over there to date and time. If you synchronized your clock, you need to turn it off with the push of the A button. And then you go down. And all you need to do, advance the date one day further. And now you push the home button again and press A to go back into the game. Now you want to quit and say yes. What happens now? The game thinks a day has passed. And when a day has passed inside the game, everything gets reset. So the den is active again, which means you also get 2000 watt. And there will be another Pokémon waiting inside. Now, you have a 5% chance to encounter the Gigantamax form of this den, which means it could take some time. But at least you'll get some watts, which I'll talk about in the following video. But now I'll show you what it looks like when you do it in fast. Invite others, home button, system settings, down, date, up, over, back to the game, quit. So if you optimized this method, it should take you around 10 seconds, at least when the countdown is over there. I'm starting to enjoy this because it got some kind of meditational purpose. So you just do it. No, 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 no! <laughs> no! Oh, I hate that. Uh, when you misclick like I did, just go ahead and kill everyone. <sighs> and then you can try again. But it's very tedious and annoying, so be careful <laughs> not to push on the wrong button. I don't know why they didn't include something to, to cancel that. <sighs> The following Thursday. And there we go! Ah, finally! But this wasn't too bad. I think around 30 tries. I <laughs> I had one where I, it took me around 150 tries. <laughs> and I was almost giving up. I almost thought Lapras wasn't in the game. And I checked like two times. But yeah, now we can quit. Save the game. Because if should happen something because if something should happen that you don't catch it, although it's 100% chance, as far as I know, you can reload and try again. Now you can connect to the internet, because you need help to catch uh, this guy and all the other Gigantamax forms. And raids like this get filled up almost instantly. He sat and waited for three minutes. <laughs> Ben, what a nice name. Two or three should be enough. Two, uh, maybe, but three, always. Look at this beauty. <laughs> oh, what a beauty. <laughs> Let's catch him. And there he is down. I would always recommend, if you have caught this Pokemon already, use the repeat ball. It has one of the best chances. Or the dusk ball because this is considered a cave. It has almost double the chance to catch in comparison to the Ultra Ball. I mean, I got 100% chance, but I like to use it. And there we go. That's how you catch the Gigantamax forms of all the Pokémon. And now I'll show you where all the locations are. Let's get over to the meetup spot, and there I'll show you the first two locations where you can find the Gigantamax form of Butterfree. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to set it to the 1st of May 2020, because that changes the weather in the wild area everywhere to sunny. I'm showing you now a little list for all the dates you need to change the weather in the entire wild area. Ah, I feel like a god, I can change the weather, yes. 
So, the first location for Butterfree will be here. All the way in the southwest. The second and last location for Butterfree is around here. The next location will be for Kingla. Kingla also has two locations. The first is this right there in the lake. No, go away. <laughs> I'm, st <laughs> I'm trying to explain something. The second one of Kingler is here, north of the bridge. Right west of the entrance to Modostoke. And all the way to the west you will find Appleton. <laughs> that Pokemon that looks like an apple pie. He will look like that in both versions, Sword and Shield. And the next one, right in between the entrance to Modostoke and the bridge leading up to the northern part of the wild area, you'll find Garbodor. This guy over there, which looks almost like uh, Timmy from <laughs> South Park. I mean, uh, look at him. Yeah, look at you. Ah! <laughs> Timmy! So, next up is Juraludon. I hope I pronounced that correctly. In this den over here, you'll find Colossal in Sword or Lapras in Shield. Now we go to the northern part of the wild area. Hatterene you'll find in this den. The giant cake form of All Creamy you'll find here. The giant beetle UFO, aka Ore Beetle, you'll find in this one, right next to the, the diggers and the nursery. Directly north of that, you'll find the blocky elephant, Copperaja. Further north, you'll find Santa's Gorge, who looks like a Chinese dragon of some sorts. And in the bottom one of those two, you'll find Machamp in Sword and Gengar in Shield. Ah, I was looking for you. And the Gigantamax form of Sandaconda, the Snake Tornado, you'll find over here. And inside this little stone circle, you'll find the second encounter of Sandaconda. The demonic looking Grim Snarl you'll find here. Uh, this guy over there, Dreadnaw, this turtle slash tortoise looking Pokemon, you'll find in this den. Corviknight you'll find in this one, right above this lake. And last but not least. On the island in the Lake of Outrage, you'll find Charizard, one of my favorite Pokémon. If it hasn't been fixed in the meantime, this is a method on how to get the Pokémon you desire the fastest. Oh, and before I forget, this is where you'll find Ditto for breeding purposes. And make sure, after you're done, to re-enable synchronize clock because otherwise uh, daily stuff like the coffee shop battles and other things as well won't reset on a daily basis. So make sure you'll turn that on again. Yeah, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little tour on all the Gigantamax raid bosses. If so, please consider giving it a like and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. So have a good day, morning or evening. Until then, bye! Yeah, I got your big brother now. Yeah, you heard me. Ha ha ha.